Hello there, my name is Kai Hendry and I'm going to talk to you about JSON APIs and how I think they can be improved. So in the context of where I am, I'm, in, I'm living in Singapore and uh, let's, let's talk about the bus APIs supplied by the government. Um, they're pretty good actually, um, though they could be better. That's the annoying thing. So let's go there. Oh, oops. Let me make the screen a bit smaller. Make the screen smaller so you can see me. Okay. Okay, so they have some APIs here and they even have some API documentation. And the most useful one for me is the arrival time so I don't have to, I can go down to the bus stop without getting too hot and sweaty and the bus should arrive. That should happen. But in practice, it's not quite that easy because unfortunately, sometimes the buses do not arrive on time or they're, si they're somehow missing. And, 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 th and that's the big unknown for me is like, uh, like why, why is it late and all that sort of stuff. Um, those answers aren't really given to you. Um, so, um, oh, here's the documentation here. Oh, can I get rid of this awful middle interface? Yes. Um, so here we go, this is documentation, but the thing that's missing with the APIs, and of course when you're using the AP APIs, the thing that's missing is a feedback loop. That's my number one complaint. If there's no email printed here, if there's no feedback loop, it's if, there's no tweet, if there's no Twitter account, then we're in a bad place. We're in a very bad place. Um, Anyway, so I never know when this thing even is, even is updated. When was the last time it was updated? It's 3rd of June, amended update frequencies and taxi. Oh, just the other day on my birthday. Um, okay, so talking about JCN APIs, um, there's lots of things to talk about. The authentication, maybe the versioning, but let's just talk about the body of what you can get back from um, from from doing a request. So by default, it looks something like this. Um, can you see me there? Maybe you don't want to see me. Um, what is the problem here? Uh, it's JSON. That's good. Um, it's an array style. I, I guess that's not too bad. Um, everything hinges off uh, services, I guess. Um, the thing I find that is um, uh, wrong with this is that, okay, there's, there's a lot of like repeated text you can easily see. That, see seats available, seats available. Um, you know, load is either like it has seats, it doesn't have seats, it, or somewhere in between. You don't have to do that in strings. You could just go zero for, ha you know, has seats, one, somewhere in between, two is full, and just document it in, the, in that documentation thing. That's what is useful, and it saves a lot of text. Um, same goes for this sort of stuff. Just, I mean, just give it a numeric ID. Uh, is is my uh, sorry? Status is this thing. Give it like a a, a numeral instead of a string. Um, another problem is the uh, time. So this is like uh, ooh, ISO eight six zero one formatted time. Brilliant that it's formatted like that. Great, great, great. But if you want to do a comparison, like saying the difference between the estimated arrival of this bus and the next bus, you have to pass ISO 8601, which is um, uh, non-trivial, really. It's just non-trivial. Uh, sorry, I just had to add an emphasis. So basically, pa passing it... Sorry. Let's go back to full screen here. Pa passing uh, a string, uh, a time representation, and then doing a calculation passing back is very inefficient. The, why, the right way to do it is just use epoch time. The, the seconds or um, you can make it milliseconds since 1970 or something like that. And that makes it great because you get like a number like 100 uh, seconds and you might subtract it from the the first or the second, and then you get the amount of seconds. So you know you can figure out durations super duper, uber, uber easy. 
brilliant. Uh, so yeah, that's my, my other complaint. Um, what else was I going to say? The, the next, oh, on the subject of time, this is bloody important. This is very important, in fact. If you're having a time, I mean, time is the number one sort of data data thing, the hinge for, for everything. And you always should put time in, in all your data structures, in my opinion. But the thing that annoys me is when I don't know what your time is exactly. Um, and this could be easily fixed if you had um, sort of another value here at the top saying my time or you, you know the time the time now basically so basically i know w what time you're talking about because because I, if i if i get the the, the time string here I, and i'm comparing it to my time or the browser time it might not be the same as your time so so basically the most important thing the interesting thing about bus um, arrivals is that you want to know how many seconds until the bus arrives or something like that. So if the API said, oh, um, it's going to arrive at, uh, you know, one minute past five and ten seconds, and, my, and my, my, my own time was perhaps incorrect or your time was incorrect, those precious seconds could lead to you missing the bus. I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear. Um, what else? <clears throat> I, I, I've had a discussion with people about the API and, and then there's a very good developer in Singapore named uh, Shuan and he actually went so far to uh, create this app uh, hosted on Heroku called Arrivela and on Arrivela he basically takes the LTA fee, uh, JSON feed and does calculations um, and, and cleans it up a little bit uh, for his app. So you can see it went from, from this to this. Um, well, let's put it like, let's be a little bit. And, and unfortunately, uh, as, a, as a result, it's quite slow because he's having to manipulate it. Um, so yeah, he, he he can he's got the durations here, which which um, which the app would ha would ordinarily have to do, but he's doing it in the back end and, and hence uh, saving time and energy, but at the cost of some time. Hmm, not great. Um, okay, I think I'll end it there. I think I have some more feedback, but I th I thought to myself that it would be interesting if you just take this feedback on board uh, please <laughs> um, and again uh, just to, re to, re to reiterate my complaints number one you must have a feedback loop so please have an email address advertised so that you um, people like myself who who write apps can 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 just say what issues they're having um, and and also the, the public should should somehow um, be interacting with you too I like I really like Twitter, um, so email email number one Twitter second, um, third use epoch time please. Um, it's easier to do durations and calculations the epoch time, and make sure that you put your time in the feed too. <clears throat> so we have that added context. And